The Constitution stipulates that the electoral college voters are the ones who elect a president. But as Michelle Macaluso reports, there is pressure this year for some of those voters to ignore the popular vote in their states and vote their own conscience. Throughout the state, voters in the electoral college are casting their ballots for president. All 11 votes have been cast for Donald J. Trump. President elect Donald Trump won 306 electoral college votes on election day. It takes 270 to win. The campaign is over. This man is the president. But electoral college voters in some states have been inundated with pleas to not vote for Mr. Trump. Republican members of the electoral college, this message is for you. An outside group, Unite for America, paid for this television ad featuring celebrities asking electors to vote their conscience. It's about Democrats that can't accept the outcome of the election. It's about um, delegitimizing the American system. It's not going to work. 29 states have laws requiring electoral college voters to vote the way their state voted. Electors in other states are free to change their mind. So far, Texas elector Chris Supran is the only elector college member to publicly say he won't vote for Mr. Trump. I think this is the first time in America's history where we have someone who is clearly unfit uh, for office. President-elect Donald Trump spoke out against those pushing electors to change their minds. He tweeted, if my many supporters acted and threatened people like those who lost the election are doing, they would be scorned and called terrible names. The electoral college is expected to elect Mr. Trump president. Michelle Macaluso for CBS News, the White House. Meanwhile, here in Oregon, protesters gathered at the state capitol before Oregon's electors cast their votes this morning. Our Lisa Balick was there. She joins us live now from Salem. And Lisa, this is part of the movement to block Donald Trump from becoming president, right? That's right, but here in Oregon, all seven presidential electors were voting for Hillary Clinton. They are all Democrats because she won the majority of the popular vote here in the state. Now, this morning, though, that didn't keep the protesters from coming out here on the Capitol steps. So they say that they were still upset about the way this has gone. They hope electors in other states will cast ballots for Clinton when they're supposed to vote for Trump if he won the popular vote there. The Constitution, by the way, does not force electors to cast their ballots a certain way. I feel that we're losing touch with the essentials of our democracy, of the balance of power, and of what it means to have somebody who's elected in a free and popular election, and I think everyone should be concerned. I feel the electors have a job that has existed all along to protect the nation from a candidate who's not fit, as Mr. Trump, in my opinion, is not fit. Now, in Oregon, we have seven electors since we have seven members of Congress. Both the Republican and Democratic parties select seven electors before Election Day. Since the majority of the Oregon voters, though, selected Clinton, the seven Democratic electors here today cast ballots for Clinton. They're all officials, by the way, in the state Democratic Party. But the chairman said he went on record objecting to the process, saying Russia interfered in the election results and that the Electoral College doesn't truly represent one person, one vote, again, because Clinton won the popular vote. So far around the country in the Electoral College voting today, we have found only one so far, besides that one mentioned in Texas saying he would vote a certain way, we have found that there was a representative in Maine who cast his vote instead of for Hillary Clinton for Bernie Sanders, and he said he just wants to put in a vote there for all the young people that came out and started participating in elections because they were Sanders supporters. So we'll see how the rest of it goes today. But it looks like, again, here in Oregon, all the votes went to Hillary Clinton. Live in Salem, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. All right. Thanks, Lisa. So far, it looks like things are going as expected. We are expecting another protest in Portland. The group Portland Resistance is leading a demonstration this evening.